Well, brats do. Okay. I don't know about you. <laughs> well. It's, it's dark live, isn't it? About, we should be about hitting the uh, airwaves any moment now, little Mary. Ah. That's what I do. Ah. It says we're live okay. right there on the reallibertymedia.com. Oh, it says we're live? Chat. Yes, it does. I didn't look. I feel alive. Well, I I, <laughs> I did. I keep a separate screen for the RLM when I want to play on it. I can still do other things on my other screen. Ah, well, see, I need to throw a scarf over that camera Grimm's got here. Because he's peeking in. He said I look well rested. Oh, he's cheating Grim, again. Grim, I'm surprised your eyes still function. Whoa, Seriously. very good. Oh, <laughs> this is so funny. Anyway, we welcome do. to, okay, you funny guy. Welcome to the dork table, everybody. Get your uh, dork hat on. <laughs> want, to, dun, dun, dun. want to say thank you, Mr. Grimner, for giving us our little place to play devil's advocates against the machine. <laughs> our, our place in the sun, although right now I am inside from the sun because, wait for it, let me look on my weather thingy. Mm. It's 95 degrees out there right now, very sunny, intermittent clouds, and it's hot. We have a heat advisory out here in the boonies. On this 18th of July, July 2020. July like a That's rug. Right. So, or I guess you're going to bot and body for us, right? Well, I guess I could only I if mean, I, we could I, import I, I, somebody else to do it. I suppose maybe just no, uh, because then I they wouldn't be doing it right. And <laughs> I would have to step in and say, "No, you're not. You have to do it like this." <laughs> well, the way we do it is unique. It's, it's kind of messed up, it's but it works yeah, for us. But it's fun. It makes me giggle, so I go. Ah. Let's do that some it's more. It's Dorkular. Very much and so, Miss Murray. Of Dorkular. We got a barman right up top, and Boring he really is man. the most plentiful Dorkular bot ever. You know, not too many bots would say, yeah, dude, it's like total compliment to call me Dorkular. Yeah, but dude. barman doesn't gargle his tea. <sighs> okay. <laughs> but um, We also got Beetle here. Beetle! Hey, Beetle, how you doing? And Cowboy Tech, who always hears pleasant voices. It's yeah, so no shit. Yeah. You know, it's 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 nice to have at least one individual in the world that is always hearing pleasant voices, if for no other reason to go up. Are you still hearing them? Yeah, well, he, he knows how to turn off stupid without being rude. Ah. The rest of us. Go are a little bit sensitive in that area, and we just get mad. <laughs> just yell yeah. shit. Yeah, it's a, it's a big game. Don't worry about it. Ah. Ooh, it's 86 where Moosey's at. Well, Prusy uh, with... Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's warm. It's She's warm. probably more humid than I am. Oh, yeah, well, 64%. Yeah. What's mine? What's, what's my humidity? Oh, you don't even want to know. My humidity is 31%. You oh. don't want to know what the weather is like here today. I guarantee it. Is it raining? Don't no. Don't look. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a little overcast, but it's not. It's the middle of the summertime, and it never gets over eighty. Oh shush! I told you not shush. to look, and you looked. I didn't look. I listened. Oh, and look at Cowboy Tech, 67.7. Yeah, a week ago it was like 63, 64. So right in the middle of summertime, you're out there in a T-shirt. But it feels like it's in the 80s because the... Because the humidity? I don't know. Because the way the nature works, I suppose. I have no idea well, if it's because of the this or the that. I just know the results. I go outside, wow. it feels... Sometimes, like, 20 degrees different than what the thermometer tells me. Ah, Grimmy's 86.9. Damn, mm. I'm the hottest one in the crowd. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> Moving along. Okay, put your shirt back on and get back to the hollows. Get back to the hollows. You're making my tumor bleed, Miss Mary. Stop it. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> it's called leaching. <laughs> Wow. We would give it a Learn name. Your history. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Inside jokes, eh? Eh, eh, eh? Right in front of 40 <laughs> other people. Okay. I know. Grimner is here, the RLM god, closely hey, followed by the lovely Moose Goyle. And actually, temperature-wise, that's pretty much the way it lines up as well. And we got the lovely Kate. Miss Kate is here from Florida. Florida. As well, the Asmodeus one Asmodeus. is here, as well as... Chloe. Oh, singular. You know, every time I see Chloe, I yeah. think of three little pigs where they go, wee, wee. Ouch. I don't know. No, I do. It's like I see that ee, ee, ee. It's like, what's that piggy yeah. with the it's guy good. commercials at Franklin? Is that his name? Wee. wee, wee. <laughs> I don't know. I live in Denmark. I, the hell do I know about what? American commercials with well, wee, my wee, daughter wee. and I do impersonations of that while we're driving ah. down one of the busiest streets where she lives with our little pinwheels hanging out the window, and we're just yelling, wee, 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 and you'd be surprised how many people smile and wave, and they're probably thinking they let them out. Yeah, shouldn't have done that. No wow. jacket. Oh, wow. Well. No In deposit, no return. That's right. Take the it lovely Miss Dangum Van Meter is also here, as well as Flash. Oh, yeah, that's me. The, hey, hello, the everybody. King. Yeah, you're the dork king. Oh, lucky me. We also got Free Enslaved. Mm, free Enslaved yeah. is here. Hey, uh, Free. Uh, uh. That, I'm going to say he's Russian when he does this. Because <laughs> there, there's no vowels. Talk to Vanna. Seriously, talk to Vanna, because you need some vowels in there. <laughs> Lord, I'm here. Ooh, ouch. The door, the door, yeah, you're the door, the door king, door king. I see that. <laughs> My reputation precedes me and yes. follows me at the same time. It's like being in a bubble. Well, so long as nobody says, hey, the king has no clothes and they're not lying. Nah, like, they're probably you, right. You, yeah, They're probably standing out in the backyard looking in the house. Oh, Jeez, thanks. <laughs> well, the backyard's the front I'm yard. Jealous cycle. Yeah, so I could do whatever I, I freaking want. She does. She's not the boss of me for crying out loud, you little crazy she's woman. Not your boss, no. Apple Pop. <laughs> Are you nuts? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's poor sir. For you to think that way. I, I also suppose. Yeah. Bob Wikes is here. I did hey, bubbler. The Trust no one is also here as well as oofta. Oof, oof, oof. Ooh. You know, that's the sound I make when the cat jumps up on my lap because she's a tiny little cat, but she's rotund as well. And she, when she stands on the, on the, yeah. you know, the, the excess padding of your thighs. <laughs> no. It might, well, I knew it, it was going to be about pussy, but I didn't think it would be a cat. Okay, continue. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she's she <sighs> on my thigh fat. <laughs> well, I don't have any thigh fat, so shut up. Stop. Compare. Oh, Grim says we're up to 250 subscribers on BitChute. Dun, yeah. dun, dun, dun. Well, that's, that's because awesome. YouTube is doing a suicide. It's on a suicide mission. It's our it's done its, okay. it's done its dirty deed, and now it can retire and go away. They don't need it anymore. It's finished. Mm. Well, I saw something the other day about Google is getting sued, too. Yeah. I thought, oh, things are getting interesting. He's doing uh, lawsuits. I don't know if nah. they actually do any good or not, but I'm just going to sit back with my bowl of popcorn. and Sure, because, you know, yeah. at the end of the game, when all the money has mm -hmm. gone, let's start suing people. Uh, wh what? It's like $189 trillion in debt to it, to the Rothschilds, but it's going to continue. <laughs> I'd like to see them try and collect. Oh, they're good. Seriously. They are collecting. What do you think all this lockdown and burning shit up crap's all about? Oh, well, I know all that. Look stupid. beyond the physical. All that's, and... all that's doing is cutting down on what they're collecting. Yeah, sure, mm -hmm. they're collecting metaphysically, which is why I call them the leeches that be. They already hey. got it. What they want, they've already got. Then now they want dead people. And it's a whole lot easier to kill us if we do it for them. Well, yeah, it's, it's just like it's a whole lot easier to police us if we do yeah, it for them. And it's a lot more entertaining to watch. 
Yeah, it's kind of like watching Three Stooges. No, this is like watching uh, something way worse than that, because this is real. Three Stooges was just fun slapstick. This stuff got serious. People are really getting locked up, fined, killed, you know, you name it. It's happening, right? And it's all in the name of entertainment and, well, we're we're showing you what's going on. No, we're getting screwed one more time, and I'm the only one saying it out loud. Hmm? Well, I've been saying it's reality TV forever. Right, but you see, ain't the it, only it, one. It's, it's real. No, see, it isn't TV. It is freaking real. Yes, it is. What the hell do you think they put it on? I mean, why do you think they're producing this shit so they can get better ratings? It's reality TV. It's yeah, like what? It's what like was a, that Stephen King movie? It's like a slow the, cook. With called Schwarzenegger. Yeah, well, Stephen King. What was that? Gr- Grim posted a link before the show, right? about uh, mandated vaccines. And they had Trump up there talking for a minute. And he said he'll have the military deliver it to the sitting population. That's not fucking right. You can't do these things. This, this, this is, all this whole thing is just fear-mongering and uh, insanity, I think. Oh, you didn't finish the hellos. Oh, it you? is, and okay. there's there's also a lot of wordplay going on, so I'm not taking anything yeah. that anybody okay. says well, on we'll, face we'll, value. We'll get into a little disagreement about this one it's, right out the go- gate, but let's finish the hellos. I interrupted you again. Well, we got Vanna White, the letter turner of the RLM oh, channel, yeah, right, right here. It's a lovely Vanna White in her bot dress, and W4DKV is here, right between Vanna and the weather door. W4, <sighs> WP40. Yeah. Weather dork's going to smite you. Hank's going to Hank's going to shoot them all. I I think smiting sounds a lot more biblical. Yeah, but, but Hank Kissinger, you know, he likes Well, Hank's likes never the seen a Bible unless it's, you know. <laughs> well, we won't go there. You can kneel on this while phantom. you're praying. <laughs> I see the phantom is here the phantom. as well as CC66. And, ooh, Vanna has a nice bot. Oh, well, good. <coughs> I should know. Um, <laughs> we got a cyborgian noodle in the chat as well. And may you be touched by the cyborgian noodliness of it all. Uh, and uh, Siv is also here as well as Frumpy. Frumpy. JJ's. No, no, no. JJ's is also here, the Scottish feller. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm, I always am concerned. Am I doing Irish or Scottish? Because I suck mm, at accents. It's so kind I of neither. It's really, oh, it leans well, more to the Scot than the Irish, but it's really not either. Oh, well, cool, because then it'll be Grammy-ish. Yeah, because, so yeah, you, no, you don't, you don't do a particularly cool job of it, dear. But it's amusing. Ah. Well, there you go. That's. That's well, I lived going. there for so long that... Uh, that you have an ear for it, uh, eh? God, I have memories. I have nightmares about being in Scotland still. <laughs> no, kid. It's uh, a wonderful country. I just like making bad jokes about places that I don't live anymore. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. And that's why you don't live there anymore. Yeah. I also see kisses here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, pick her up, baby cake. Uh, what's the difference between a chickpea and a garbanzo beans? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Oh, oh, geez, Grim. That I didn't. I'm not reading the rest of that live. That's. I'll crazy. read it. <laughs> you read it out loud live. Okay. I, that's, that's the thought of what it. What's the thing. difference between a chickpea and a garbanzo bean? Real Donald Trump has never paid two hundred dollars to have a garbanzo bean on his face. Ah. Ick. Ick. You know, golden flowers are just not, no. <laughs> and I had to take a drink after that. Yeah, no, I was you. stalling okay. for you. You could finish the hellos thank now. Thank you very much. That was a good <laughs> joke, though. <laughs> well, it it yeah. was, and yet it was, I got the instant visual, and it's like, oh, ugh, so it ruined it for me. I'm such a visual person. You must be Matt, a weirdo. Matt, WPA 2002 yeah. here, as well as the pop 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 sauces here. Sock puppet. Hey, sock. Smart I also ass. see a smart ass. You yeah. know, we oh, all yeah, have right, a little right. inner smart ass. Not all of us. Some people think they do and really don't. And other people don't know they have and really do. 
Well, you know, the way I look at it, a smart ass and a dumb ass are both pretty much the same. The only difference between the two uh. is a smart ass came up for air a little bit more often in school. But Ooh. I know that. Wow. The Why? holiest Roger uh. ever yeah. is here and to round out the crew, the one, the only D we picks. Okay, here is the people in the RLM chat. And by the way, if you are listening somewhere out there on the winter interwebs, wherever we are <laughs> dispersing to your eardrums right now cybernetically, um, come on over to... Oh, oh, baby. Come on over to... <laughs> come over to reallibertymedia.com. Why did that buzzing happen? Come over. Woo! Schrodinger's hostage. <laughs> I know that sound just it's it's like you're on that frequency to when you receive it it gets your attention whatever it is. Makes my eye twitch. But that particular sound always rocks your whole show. <laughs> Amazing. I wonder well, how many realtorymedia.com join the chat. Think of a nickname. Break some commandments with us. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I wonder it's how... It's really the only commandment that actually, really, honestly, and truly exists uh, and should be enforced hmm. is thou shalt not steal. Oh. Everything oh. is a form of theft. Yeah. Well, we've, you know, we've agreed. Wrong yeah. Form of theft. yeah, but still, that's all going to be a matter of, you know, personal taste. Some people like to nitpick and, you know... Not only did you do this, but you did that. You know those extra fines for the little. In, in, well, yeah, that way they can plea yeah. bargain it down. Right. Well, Later. no, so they can make the bill higher. They nitpick. You know, you get you're in there for murder. Let's get you for robbery, jaywalking. Oh, look, you you kicked a dog when you were eight years old, and we'll add all the charges together when they got you for a murder already. You don't get what I'm saying? Huh? 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 Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I grok what you're saying. Did you know that grok is an actual word? I looked it up. Oh. Well, I, I'm familiar with it, so I never knew it wasn't a word to be looked up. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. It is. Grok. Yeah. I think it's G-R-O-K. Yeah. From the but, 70s that I remember it, yeah. my dear. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I kept hearing the gal on um, Open Minds. Hmm on Gaia Channel, hmm. has said grok a couple of times, and it's like, grok, grok, I think I know what that means, but I'm going to look it up. So I looked it up, and it's like, ah, okay, I gotcha, got it, because I don't, like Robert from um, um, Observation Deck, he no longer says understand, hmm. because that means you stand under, well, according the, to Black's Law. My computer here does not recognize it as a word. Uh, really? Wait, and spell it again. Wait. G R O K. Oh, okay. No, I spelled it wrong. I do that. I'm really bad at um, what do you call it? Spelling. So uh, I wanted to see if that the computer accepted it as a word already. G R O K S. Grax. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Anyway, today's show. Anyway. I know you you're on a run here, but today's show is going to be called Confront Judgment. With better, louder judgment. Huh? 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 It's got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Yeah. And you know what? Just as you were reading that, I'm, you know, because you know me, I'm scrolling all the time. Yeah, yeah. You don't pay no attention. And I see this thing. Well, I pay a little attention, no, but I only have a little attention to pay. So, don't you know, lie don't to me. Over, if I get overdrawn <laughs> on my attention, then the attention police will show up. No. Anyway. So I only pay a little bit. So what did you In find, case, Jerry? <laughs> David J. Harris Jr. posted this thing. L.A. Teachers Union says that it's not going back unless L.A. police are defunded and the charter schools are shut down. Wow. So, in other words... Yeah. I know. It's wow. like, okay, so you really enjoy all that crime in the classroom, and you want to have even more crime in the classroom because you want those other, you know, those charter schools that are, yeah. you know, actually teaching kids. You got a link you to this, to though? Down. Hey. I hey. actually do. Why don't you post it, miss? I'm going to harp up the story and keep it all to myself. Well, I can't yeah. comment on something I'm ignorant on, for crying out loud. You might as well brought it. Oh, never mind. It's from DJHJ Media. Okay. Yeah, well, I want to see a link so I can have physical proof, if you know what I mean. 
You know what people are all caught up on right now? What's that? Nonsense and stupidity. A lot of them, dear. Hmm. Oh, Grimmy just posted Grok too, and that's yeah. that's where I remember it. Stranger in a Strange Land. Uh, 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 uh. I read da, that book. Da, 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 da. That must be where I originally heard it or saw it or whatever. So yeah. So is that your louder judgment, or is that just you're not confronting my judgment, are you? Hmm. No, because and you know actually wow. the other day while I was out pulling weeds because I like to pull weeds because it yeah. keeps me from killing people <laughs> and I really don't want to go to jail. Um, <laughs> in any case. I was out pulling weeds, and, and I was having thoughts running through my mind because I'm having a little bit of a tete-a-tete with one of my children. Oh, man. And, uh, you know, on Be Life's, and yeah. she thinks I should just wear the fucking mask, and I'm like, no. Mm. But, um, <clears throat> so now I'm an inconsiderate, mean, and hateful, cruel, I'm going to kill grandma kind of person. Wow. And that's okay. It's okay, you know? I And I, mm. I was really, really hurt yeah. for a while yeah, there can imagine. about you know, the attitude that she was sending my direction until I stopped and I realized that I raised my daughter to form her own opinions and to stand up for her own opinions. <laughs> so I obviously did a good job because well, that is her own opinion and yeah. she's standing up for it. Now, yeah. regardless of whether, you know, how she formed it, but that is her opinion and she is standing up to it and she is being quite vocal about her opinion. And that's fine. That's fine. I can ignore her just like I can anybody else. Mm. I did it for years when she was little and she and her sister were fighting. So I can yeah. ignore her now yeah. as well. Yeah. But, but I was out in the garden pulling weeds and I got to thinking, you know, that whole thing, judge not lest ye be judged. A lot of people, you know, they look at it with the biblical meaning because that's where have seen it before and actually it's one of those things just kind of and I know maybe I'm a little slow on the uptick hmm. but it clicked to me that okay everybody's always throwing out judge not lest you be judged judge not lest he be judged you should stop judging and it's not saying that at all it's not telling you to stop judging it's merely telling you that if you're going to be casting judgments then you just opened yourself to, up to being judged as well so Anytime you do something in this universe, it will come back to you. It's a karmic kind of thing. <laughs> it's kind of a balancing <laughs> thing. So when you go around being all judgy at people or judgy about what you're eating, ooh, this tastes rotten. Ooh, this drink is horrid. Here, try it. You know, that kind of, oh, I love you so much. <laughs> try you. this, yeah. Yeah. Does this smell you bad know, to you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pull your pants yeah. up, you idiot. You're choking me to death. Yeah. Okay. And I do. I actually do. Well, I think I still do. Yeah. I have some masks because, you know, she's, I keep getting this. Just put on a mask. Just wear a mask. Wow. So I'm going to go through my Halloween stuff because yeah. I know I have some cloth oh. troll masks that have Velcro strappies that, you know, to hold them on the face. And they the face looks like a troll, and it just comes down to your about your nose or just below your nose and has the funky troll hair. And so I'm going to, if I'm going to be trolled about wearing a mask, I'm going to go, okay, mm. go. Mm. I got my troll mask. Yeah, I, troll I understand. Myth. Yeah, I, I understand. But that's the way the system has created the school system to indoctrinate people into this Follow the leader bullshit beyond what your mom and dad may have ever taught you. <clears throat> or maybe that died when I was um, reproducing. Because that's when the state got all up my ass, was about how I was raising the kids. Well, you know, and the state does have a tendency to get up on people's ass, especially when they have no business. And then the ones that they really need to step in on. Yeah, they stay out oh, of no, that they, shit. They go and... Either that or they go and they take yeah. the kids because they've got witnesses that are not from the household that are mm. saying, better do something. So they take the kids for like 24 hours, and then they return them, and then the kids wind up getting killed. Ooh. And it's like, ugh. well, Because that's how the state works. They yeah. they never do things the way you think they're going to. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you really <clears throat> think they're diabolical evil shits, which 
even then, the state is not a diabolical evil shit. It's, it's those that are working, operating underneath the color of. Yeah, it's a fiction, man. Or the authorita. So the imagined authorita of. It's whatever you believe it is. It doesn't matter what it is. It matters what you believe it to be. Just I like know. religion or... Fighting. Yeah. And all this... Every all this, belief should be questioned. Yeah. Right, but they're not. <clears throat> no. And then all this harping people do on education so overblown what the fuck did i get out of school a headache <laughs> oh, oh i spent a lot of days wishing i was somewhere else beside in school so i did have some social time and i really i there were some classes that i really enjoyed especially in high school because nah. we were able to do mods you know mm. nine week courses well so yeah but, we yeah. got to uh I remember, what was it, my sophomore year? Yeah, my sophomore year, I was taking, you had to have an hour of history. So the first nine weeks, I took the Roaring Twenties. Mm. Second nine weeks, I took Ancient American Cultures. Mm. Third nine weeks, I took World War Two, And I don't remember what I took the fourth nine weeks. I was probably just not giving a shit and wanting to get the hell out. But, yeah. You know, it was it was fun because you weren't just spending. Oh, it probably was U.S. history because I think you had to take the U.S. history one. So I put it at the last, the last uh, nine weeks of the year. Yeah. That, you know, it was fun being able to to have the option of taking mods, and they let us do that in English as well. We got to take four different things, four different mods instead of just sitting there yeah. for English all the time because. Seriously, one year of English, maybe two, and you pretty much got commas, punk, you know, any kind of punctuation, proper sentence structure, that kind of shit. After after a couple of years of English, you really don't need it anymore. Mm. But they, in high school, at least when I was going, you had to have four credit hours of English, you know, a, one good. hour a year, and it's like... Really? Seriously? No. I hate English. Education is the same as Danish. Don't well, I don't understand the, all the technical lingo because I never did it. Well, I thoroughly enjoy learning, mm. but I despised school. Other yeah. than my friends. Yeah. You know, had a lot of fun with friends, but yeah. other than them. Well, I learned when I... Uh, Went to work for Ford Motor Company. I was just turned 18. That was the whole thing. I would have started there sooner, but I wasn't old enough legally. Uh huh. Because it already they they stopped fucking with me about school when I was like 14. The whole thing. They didn't. Nobody wanted to put me in jail anymore. Or nothing. They just let me be. Uh -huh. So yeah. So I compromised with them and went to a, a continuation high school for about. I don't know, maybe eight months or so to get my driver's license. Ah. Hmm? Well, I I learned young, and then I w all that stuff that they tell you about is kind of nonsensical because I don't think that I, one of the requirements for being hired on the Ford system was that you needed to have at least a high school education. But yeah. I never at least a GED or diploma. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't have that. Just said I did. Oh, yeah. I just oh. said I, they said uh, graduated from, and I just wrote the school name in. And ah. Now whoever and the is school probably went. Yeah. No, yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no. My my family worked in the plant, so mm. people assumed a lot of things from knowing my dad and my uncle for being there for so long. That they just assumed, yeah, the paperwork's good. Put them on the line, and then ah. once you're on the fucking line, it was harder to get rid of you than it was to get on it. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, oh, yeah, but I don't. So the lesson I learned there was just, if you're confronted about education, just lie. Nobody's gonna ever fucking know whether you did it or not. Hmm. You know, I find it amusing that you. You went to work right after you turned 18 yeah, at an assembly yeah. plant. Yeah. And I went to work right after I turned 18 at an assembly plant. 
only you went to Ford and mm -hmm. I went to Travenol. Yeah. You were building cars. Yeah. I was building medical supplies. I was yeah. making IVs and, and all the little components of IVs, which really was very fascinating. Yeah. Until I got stuck in the big room, and then I was allergic to the glue that they used to glue all that shit together, so I was always sick. But uh, yeah, the different, yeah, the different components and how they're made, and it really mm. is very fascinating. And it was fun, but, you know, I worked with fun people as well. So Well, I never and, thought school was preparing me for anything in the first place. See, I thought school was just there to teach you how to play well with others. Well, man, but I that's grew up a choice. With nine siblings, so yeah. See, I only knew. had a brother. Yeah. Well, I knew you better play well with others, or they're going to beat the shit out of you every day. <laughs> okay, but no, we started out in life where we did, and ended up where we're at. And in the middle are all these people who are younger than us. Okay, say twenty years younger than us, uh -huh. and and they're they're teachers, and they <laughs> they want to. L.A. Teachers Union fascist demands police defunded and charters ended before schools can reopen. And the charter schools are the successful schools. Because, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, let me tell you the other side of that, though. It's the application because they all use the same curriculum shit. All the rules are all the same. It's just they're enforced differently in public school than the charter school. So well, they get and, a, that, that, they and get, that whole structure there hmm? is due to No Child Left Behind, which has left just about every child. Okay, there. Wh Actually, which one are you talking left about? Any children behind because okay. they've all been mediocre down. I'm talking about the charter school being superior to the public school. So what? You lost me by not identifying which side you like. I. I never. I have no experience with charter schools. I have some nieces mm -hmm. that went to charter schools as opposed to um, mm. public school, and they actually, you know, got along a lot better in the charter schools ah, because they true. didn't have the crime. Why? They didn't right, have right. people coming in, beat, <laughs> excuse me, beating the shit out of someone every day. Mm. But you know, when I went yeah. to high school, we didn't have that either. So right, it was like, exactly. But wow, you guys have that shit in the regular schools? Holy crap! What the hell I happened? I have no idea. And I'm, you know, we're the same age, give or take a few months or a year or so. So I'll we give them we, we, a month we, and a half. We did, yeah. So we did all of our uh, growing up in the same period of time, but in different parts of the country. And mm -hmm. somehow or another, as differently as we see things, you know, where we talk all different and whatnot. We do have a lot of similarities for being so different. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Because me and Cirque are very similar in lots of fucking ways where other people and me just clash. Almost, I clash with almost everyone to, well, to a level. And then there's the Mary, you know, pops up there. I can get along with you pretty well and overlook the disagreements without getting emotionally attached to the result. Well, that's because the disagreements are really just surface. You know, they're a little bit of surface tension underneath. Mm. It's pretty much very similar. So, yeah, eh. yeah it, it's the expression is usually the what. So that's why I said confront judgment with better, louder judgment, and and it falls into this story thing that uh, you put it. You know, the union wants this happen before they do that and end this. It, Okay, that is not how you negotiate. That's demands. There's no yeah. room for negotiation at all. This this is stupid. How how yeah. did how did um, a free society end up in a position that like that, where you're being bullied by a bunch of ass wipes that want to claim there's a virus that it, they're just milking the, itself to not work. Well, there is a virus. No, it there ain't no fucking virus. No, man. there is a virus, and it is invisible to the naked eye, mm -hmm. unless sure. you're actually paying attention, and then you can see it. Yeah. But the virus is not this little germ that you can oh, look at no, no, under no. an electron microscope. No, no. It's a 
thought process. It's yeah, the behavior, the behavior exhibited behind a threat of an invisible enemy shows me what you're made of. And if you're afraid of something you can't even freaking see, because people tell you about it on the Internet, wow, you're a bigger dummy than I am. I'm still alive. And you're not even sh- yeah, and uh, you're not even sure if it really even exists because our virus is even real, or is yeah. that just the medical, you know, the the allopathic medicines version of? Well, I'm a doctor. Trust me. Yeah. Well, since the beginning, I can't of, figure of, out what the hell's wrong with you, but it must be a virus. Trust me. Well, they must all be Jewish. Yeah. Well, maybe. No, it's hard. I heard a long time ago that the way the Jewish say "fuck you" is mm. "trust me." That yeah, it translates in a couple of different ways. Yeah. Ah. But see, if you could get rid of the Jews out of your out of your Senate and your Congress right now, like fucking shoot them or something, everything would go back to normal eventually. But you got Jew control in your huge government, and you're filtering it down, and the people below are going with the Jews instead of against them like they always do. So you're just getting you're getting fucked. <clears throat> if you in fact are a believer that this corona thing is real. It's not real. No. 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 It's not the way they're explaining it, not this virus nonsense, but the things they're doing with it are actually killing people. And that is the what I believe their goal is is the opposite of what they preach. They preach all this health and welfare and shit. When they want is misery and illness and death. And if you've got it, there you go. And if you don't have it, uh, the other people in the herd are trained to try to scare you into believing it's coming to you soon. So. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, that's the whole misery game. Loves company. Exactly, but that's the game that we're being played: is us against each other, not them against us. They're sitting back in their big tables laughing because we're doing exactly, as collectives, what we're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. All right? It's just like this teacher's union taking on defund the police. And, and, the, and the idiots that are teachers are the first fuckers that are going to start c- crying and calling 911 when you threaten to kick the shit out of them. Those are the people that, that call 911 and engage the police. Yet, here they are saying, well, we want them defunded. And replaced with what? Are you nuts? You're going to get worse next time. You need to just stop it all. (laughs) Well, the only way you're going to replace or get rid of the tyrannical nonsense in government is not necessarily getting rid of government. Because I don't know that you're ever going to get rid of that, at least not in the foreseeable future, hmm. but you can change your mindset and you can cha- help others change their mindset and hmm. clean out wow. those that are doing things in the name of, you know, with people that are not quite so tyrannical or people that really honestly believe that it's here to help the many, not the few. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. But, because I, re- I really don't, you know, I I think that any time an idea gets thought and then gets expressed, it's out there in the universe and somebody's going to run with it. Yeah. And what, mm. once government got put into play thousands of years ago, mm. the, the human creature and the collective mindset pretty much likes the government thing. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It de- obviously it does, or it would have gotten rid of it a long time ago. It's convenient. And I know an awful lot of people that the government is really convenient because that's the boogeyman that they can use. You know, they don't want to confront someone to their face and say, I think what you're doing is wrong, or you need to stop doing that, or whatever. They would much rather, I'm going to call a representative of the government and have you come, have them come beat the shit out of you for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Or find the shit out of you, for me. Yeah, yeah. And they think that's cool. That's good. Yeah. They don't realize well, the other side of that. Yeah. 
it soothes their ego and makes them not feel quite so guilty yeah. as they yeah. are calling up to have sure. their neighbors loaded up on a train to disappear somewhere. Because they smoke so, pot or they drink too much or they they like they loud don't music. Wear the mask or <laughs> well, I'm going with real real yeah okay. I I didn't spend enough time there to see that with my own eyes. So to me, it's all just stories. But wow, it's very upsetting to hear it. <laughs> yeah, know? there are yeah. My ho- my home is now the butt of the joke. Where no, your home is now. No, you know, my, uh, don't start that. You know what I mean. Don't don't get all no, nitpicky with exactly me. No, I know exactly what you mean, but you, that's right, really the truth. Your the, home right, is right, the right. This is where you started out. This I is know. Where you, were you just got to identify it better than me, Miss Mary. Oh. <laughs> I do, because it's not your home anymore. You haven't mm. lived here forever. It's not your home. You're not. A home is the place where you should feel comfortable. I don't even know if you I could. I don't even know if I could get back where I'd want to go there without having to do all this. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, quarantine nonsense. Yeah, house arrest. Well, I have yet to put myself in a position where I'm uh, by law required to do any fucking thing about any COVID anything. So I'm good. But if it got worse and Denmark decided to go stupid and go the other fucking way, I I don't see myself agreeing with that shit no matter what. <laughs> I never have. I, it's a horrible thing to talk about on the radio, I suppose. Cirque would be as fucking pissed at me as she could possibly be, but I don't think I'd want to be, you know, tested. I don't want nobody sticking anything in me, you know. I, I don't trust these people. All the technology they got. No, I, I don't want to be an experiment to see what's going to happen. Thank you very much. But at this point in time, there's none of that. There would be if I was at home as a, an American, I think. Hmm. Well, I carried American. I still do. I carry American paperwork. So my American ID here is still American. It's not Danish. Ah, shots, yeah, papers. Right, so, um, you know, North Carolina. But I haven't researched. I don't have any intention to return to North Carolina at this point. But I haven't even looked to see if it's possible without what kind of rules there are and, you know, all this COVID nonsense. And to me, since the beginning, this is nothing but a fucking hoax. They're playing all of us with different stories being told to different kinds of people to keep this drama going as though it were real. And if you watch the idiot, the doctor fucking Fauci (laughs) moron from the start, he's never told the same story two times in a row. So if there's your authority, where's your fucking pandemic? (laughs) It's more like a a joke-demic. See, and I think that's also part of the master plan is to have him tell it differently every time so that they can have those people going, gotcha, gotcha, hey, did you see? And then they can go poo-poo. Oh, they're just conspiracy theorists. Poo-poo, poo-poo. Nobody removes him from his position, though. They continue to follow him after he's proven himself to be full of shit. And, it's because he's such a good little puppet. Okay, well, that's where I draw the line with the society shit, Miss Mary. Is It's one thing to be a, a law-abiding and all that kind of thing where you, you're, you, know, you don't bother other people. You take care of your own problems and your own business that, that I can deal with. It's all this uh, somebody else telling an, another person what to do to you. No, that that don't work. You show me. You sit down with a needle in your bag of freaking, you know, duck cum and goddamn yogurt and stick it in your own fucking arm and let me watch the results and then I'll tell you if I want one. And I could tell you right up front, no, but I'd like to see you do it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I don't like needles, so, you know, I would just as soon not. Well, I, okay, I don't share the fear of a needle. I share the fear of what's in the needle. And my well, and it's really not so much a fear of. I just don't like them. You can just keep mm. them to yourself. 
Why? I understand they serve a purpose. Do they? I I mm. don't. Apparently, well, you know, I use mm. needles for sewing things. <laughs> I was talking about. Well, and I, I use li- knitting needles. Okay, I listened to Clint Richardson from UCY, and mm-hmm. he did a lot of links about uh, the origins of an inoculation. So, ah. yeah, and he's, I don't know if it's all opinion or what. I don't really care. The guy's not a doctor and all that horse shit. But he did enough reading and repeated enough stuff that made enough sense to tell me that this has been nothing but a scam since it started. Yeah. Well, then how could, well, being afraid of a needle, that that's not enough to, to scare me it's what's in the needle so i don't know what i'm get. i guess i'm getting at is what an advantage it must be to fear the needle but then again if you're weak enough to trust the state isn't going to poison you with what's in the needle kind of gullible oh well, yeah i just i i see and i've done enough sewing with needles that i know if mishandled, you're going to prick yourself, and it's going to cause pain, and it's going to draw blood. And so, therefore, I say no. I will use needles for what I need them for, and other than that, I have no use for them. Yeah. Well, you're lucky, I suppose. Well, Some people I just have... don't have the sense to come in out of the rain. It's just the way it is. And in some areas, that's where I'm at. In other areas, it's like people think I'm paranoid because of the the caution I take to, in some areas, but yet I won't uh, I won't seek medical attention for a burn. That's pointless. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or if my hip started to hurt, instead of going to the doctor, I took my wife's suggestion and went with Rose Hip. And it's a coincidence. I said hip. But the stuff is uh, it's a powder from a plant, and I, mm-hmm. I take it with water. And I'm telling you, the uh, the joints felt better after a, took about a month for it to actually make a physical you know change. I felt recognized. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but my my hands, my uh, I had one hip was giving me a little t- like a twinge when I was walking. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Boom, boom, boom. All these doctors and shit just make things worse with pain pills. and uh, they, they don't encourage you to exercise anything. They want you to take pills and relax. Well, they want you to come to them for medical advice. You know, like, it's your body. You know when it's not working properly. And mm-hmm. instead of calling the doctor's office and mm-hmm. having to schedule an appointment for a week, ten days, two weeks down the road, whenever they can get you in, especially if you got some kind of national emergency going on. <laughs> and you, so you go into the doctor, and by the time you actually get to the doctor, you're feeling much better, but they say, so what are you here for? Well, when I called, I was feeling like this. Yeah. But then I did this and this and this and this, and I'm feeling much better now, but I also realized that you know, even when I call to try and cancel my appointment, you still bill my insurance, and then my insurance says, no, we're not paying it, so I get stuck paying the damn thing. So I figured I may as well come in here and waste your time as much as mine. Mm-hmm. And you know what they do? They bill you. Uh, and you know what else they do? Uh, they try and give you some kind of prescription. Why? Yeah. Because that's what they're trained to do. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Irritating. They're such good little trained seals with the stethoscope around their neck. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the way I see it, too. We got no argument there. Let's argue about something. Hey, I know. Hey, do you know who Hedy Lamar was? Hmm? Hmm? Uh, I know she was an actress. That's um, it? Rem- oh, yeah. you don't know nothing about remember. Hedy? She was an actress. She, I said I was making a comment to that because... Even I know that, th- here, I'll post a link of what this woman, uh, she was an inventor and an actress. That's right. That's she right. Was, I knew there was something else. Yeah. She was overshadowed by her appearance and under uh, underattended for her contributions in, in science. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you what she did. She was a really did. smart yeah. lady. I yeah. did some stuff about her, but I couldn't. Yeah. I just, the yeah. actress thing was what was popping into my head. Yeah. Oh, there's even an interview with her on on, uh, FullTube. 
But what I wanted to post was uh, just the information. She des- she designed the, wa- uh, what do you call it, sonar on a freaking yeah. napkin or something, right? Well, yeah. the detail, you know, me in details. But, yeah, if you're interested, I'll, I think I spelled her name right. It's R-R. Okay, H-E, yeah. Hedy Lamar. Okay, you can use the browser of your choice to in- to look for information on her. But we're live right now, and I don't want to start opening anything. And yeah, <laughs> I know. You have an issue with pushing buttons while on the radio. Oh, uh, Grib- I have Grib- the same a, yeah. issue. Gribbon Moose couldn't figure out for a minute which one of us it was. It's, it's both of us. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you're more, uh, I don't know, you're more flamboyant about it than I am. But, boy, I'm a oh. terrible button pusher. <laughs> Click. It's, well, I think it's from the gaming, you know. Oh, maybe. Gave me bad computer habits that I carried into my radio behavior. Doesn't belong here, by God and country. Get rid of it. <laughs> Change. <laughs> anyway. Change. Change will do you good. Uh, Depends. You know, all of these people that are going... Let's have some vague change. I'm not going to tell you what kind of change, but uh, let's have some... Because, you know, the Federal Reserve is no longer making change. So, if you're going to go somewhere and you wish to pay cash, please use exact change. But we would prefer you don't do that because I could get the Rona from you change, although people don't realize... Mo- most of the coinage in the yeah. United States, although yeah. the the amount is getting smaller, yeah. but the coinage in the United States is made with either silver or copper. It's got an awful lot of other uh. lesser metals in oh, it yeah, now, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. silver or copper, both of those are colloidal metals. Mm-hmm. Both of those are antibacterial, antivirus metals. Mm-hmm. Both of those yeah. can be used in healing. Mm-hmm. Actually, if you have copper plumbing. Yeah. In your house, that's very good for you. It it it. Um, oh yeah, that's why they changed it over to PVC. Yeah. And they claimed yeah. it was because it was cheaper. Is actually is because the delivery is worse. So you get that PVC bullshit crap from it that you yeah. don't get from copper. Copper's a pure, but you got to clean copper once in a while. Yeah. It's, it gets clogged a little bit. Well, we use a bigger pipe, but anyway. Yeah, well, see, that's yeah. what I mean. We, we've been lied to and screwed over in the name of better and convenient when all of the time it was what you had in the first place was what was working. Let's fuck it up so things don't work, so you'll get sick. So that when we tell you there's a coronavirus, you won't know the difference between a coronavirus and a corona beer, and you're going to believe every fucking word you hear about it and make a complete idiot out of yourself, you know, for... As long as this goes on, which should probably be forever. Oh, that's right, Grimmy. What? Zinc as well mm-hmm. is in there. So mm-hmm. I yeah. like the zinc. I added the zinc to my regimen. There's stuff, yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. I don't want to get sick and croak like anybody else. It's just I'm not a neurotic nut job that read it on the internet that I'm going to die of the most fucking lethal, deadly virus in the history of mankind, and yet it's been eight months and I, I'm still here. Well, and I didn't do any of the shit that I read was recommended to make this thing go away. Didn't do any of that at all, and here I still am. I must be like a legend. I, I demand yeah, a statue of my, in my honor. What city should it be in? <laughs> Where was that over in the UK where they put a statue up of a BLM leader hmm. and then the next day they took it down and it got it oh. got actually removed from its pilt or whatever the hell wow. you call that um Don't know. and taken away in the back of a trash truck. <laughs> well, it looked like a trash truck. But Could have been. I thought that was funny. I got a question for and yet, you. Yeah, that's your tax dollars at work. <clears throat> Why are you posting Long-haired hippie rebel stuff during the show. Because I can. If I open it, or is there anything to open? Oh no, then. Yeah, okay. there's something to open, and it's actually pretty funny. It didn't open. I though. Okay, it was. I thought it would. Okay, never mind. I got lost again with all this computer mumbo jumbo. I saw one hmm. the other day, yeah. and I shared it over. Well, I, I retweeted it, hmm. and then I also shared it over on Facebook because I thought, oh my god, this is just too freaking funny. 
Wow. Um, and I don't. It was, it was a hillbilly something or other, something or other from. Hmm. What? Jen, a hillbilly of the first class, over on Twitter, posted this, and I thought, oh, this is freaking priceless. <laughs> but what, what it yeah. says is, <clears throat> Satan is pleased. Yeah. Welcome to hell. Well, You've wasted your pitiful life. Wow. To which I respond, yeah, well, at least I'm not an adult living in my father's basement. Mm. To which Satan, fighting back tears, says, fuck you, prick. Wow. Now, I thought that was because, you know, when I actually thought about it, it's like, okay, mm. yeah, God's supposed to be the father. Mm. Satan's down in hell now, which is the basement, basically. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a good one. So I shared mm. it over on Facebook, and, and it hasn't been removed yet, which surprises me, because a lot of my stuff that I've been posting there lately yeah. is yeah. getting removed. So. Huh. I think that's what I was saying earlier in the in the show is I think whatever this all this big uh hoopla with Facebook and Twitter and all that shit it's done. Whatever they were doing it they've done it all. It, there's nothing left for anybody to do. Now we just sit back and fight amongst ourselves until we're all dead. Mm. Well, well, they they've laid out okay, they've got the perfect divide and conquer is the virus. There you go. There's the most brilliant fucking scheme of all you can't see it and if you got it well you don't got anything but you got it anyway <laughs> what yeah we've heard every I'll... variation of the way that you get it and catch it and give it to people and then all the statistics are showing you that all the people that do die the shit they're dying from has got nothing to do with this imaginary virus you guys are all freaking out about <laughs> But, yeah, I saw a link earlier today that what the CDC did was mm -hmm. oopsie, are bad. They combine which how do you how do you have antibody tests and tests for the virus? Mm -hmm. How do you how do you intermingle mm -hmm. those two results? That not by accident you don't. Mm -hmm. Get it? So, That's the point. Every angle, every story to the confusion is at bubble now, right? And now there's more more idiot politicians are, are going deeper into this crap instead of admitting, like with the weed law, if they would have just said, okay, we lied. At any point in that, they could have said, well, sorry, we lied. And instead of what they did, they kept it illegal as long as they could until the public had had enough. And here we are, virus, pot laws. Hmm. Is there a, is there a pattern here? <laughs> Yeah. We've been primed socially to accept the the wording and and the threats and this is going to happen and be in fear. Woo. Be afraid. That's be it. Afraid. But it works. Does it not work? Hmm? Well, see and, and every time someone tells me be afraid, I just look at them and say, "You know, I quit watching the blood and gore we want more stabby stabby movies a long time ago because I don't like that afraid feeling so therefore mm. i don't do it to myself on purpose so there besides the fact that there's enough shit going on in the real world that yeah who yeah. needs blood and gore we want more movies yeah i don't know it's just insane but cowboy tech put up a link about 90 essential nutrients and i was reading it i just want to read one one line out of it and it okay. says in a bullet point here there is not a single plant, animal, or human that can produce even one of these 60 essential minerals. These minerals must be consumed. And it's, it's a, not a big, long, hairy link, but it's got a lot of interesting stuff, and I just thought I'd make a mention of that. I think I'm going to copy this. Yeah. Just in case anybody out there in Radio Land is is uh, health conscious, this is a, an example of something that Cowboy Tech would post. Yeah, you know he's always posting a lot of interesting things beyond the jokes because we do we do have a giggle at the expense yeah. of politics and shit like that. But when he's serious, this is the kind of quality that we get. So I wanted to give Cowboy Tech a little slap on the back for. You know, putting the stuff out there for us to see it. Good job. Dude. It's Dr. Dr. Eli Wallach. Uh, so, yeah. Well, hey. 
when you hit something like, because this is not something that's going to, you're not going to run into this by chance. Somebody's got to shove this in your face so you can see it, tell you it's there. That's the kind of, yeah. it's the kind of information this is. It's being kept away from us. And as you all know, especially Mary, if you start talking uh, natural oils or remedies, anything that's not mainstream, I went to the doctor and he gave me a pill. Well, you know what? When I went to Jose to get a pill, and people didn't want me to be bragging about it because, you know, it was a different kind of pill. No, it was the same kind of pill. It was just illegal to get Jose's pill. But if you yeah. went to the doctor and told the doctor a nice story about your back or something like that, I guess, they could give you a prescription so you could go get Jose's pills. Yeah, but Jose's pills cost less, usually. Depended on the Jose and the desperation of yeah. the player. Wow. They, in, in the in the world that I came out of, I saw lots of people that were addicted to drugs, legally and illegally. And it's just horrible. But, of course, hindsight being twenty twenty, they had me until I was in my 50s before it. The whole thing made sense. And I went, oh, fuck, i got to stop this. They're the problem, not the answer. They're killing everybody. <laughs> oh, man, I know lots of people that, you know, I don't do drugs. Mm -hmm. How dare you? I don't do drugs. Really? Do you mm -hmm. take aspirin? Well, yeah. But that's not... Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> do, you do, do you take, like, blood pressure medicine? <laughs> well, that's not... Yes, yes it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> you yes, do drugs, exactly my dear. It is. It's just that... There is a difference between the drugs that you get from someone that's wearing a white coat and does an illegible signature. Yeah. And someone that you can just go to on the street and say, dude, can you get me you some of this? Yeah. Yeah, because the guy on the street's not going to stand there and go, give me your prescription. <laughs> you know, they're nope. going to go, dude, yeah. don't draw attention to yourself. The cops are right there. No, no well, that's not quite. I'm very TV of me. I know, but. but all right. Basically, it's, and, you know, as with any, mm. any yeah. man-made law, it's going to create a black market. Really? Do tell. Really. But I, I thought we were going to get into the argument about medicine, because there are a lot of people that seem to believe they benefit from it, so they, they do. And then there's other people that think, hey, wait a minute, there's got to be a better way. But. I think what I didn't do was, until the very end was actually find out what the hell the illness was. You know, I, See, I'd been diagnosed as having the shit, so I just trusted that, well, if that's what they tell me, that's got to be the truth. And what I found out was, uh, all that was was I had symptoms that fit into this category. And if you have symptoms that fit into a particular category, they assign an illness to it. Yeah. There you go. Well, that's not fair. And it's not true. It's it's true for the moment, but it's not it's not the way I, it was explained to me. This blood pressure crap changes all by itself. <laughs> yeah. It's, so that is a way of your body dealing with stressors. Right, but it's a social doing what it's supposed to do. But it's a social way of initiating that control shit idea into your head in the first place. Instead of let nature do what nature does, and if I croak, I croak. Let's control life by taking measures to control life. Why this pill will control this? Uh, get the fuck away from me. Not that it you doesn't. Know, what's really what? what's really funny about all of those hmm. is once they get you started on something like that, like uh, when I was taking thyroid medicine, which I haven't for several years, I'm I'm increasing what I need to take to make my thyroid function better. But um, when I was still taking it, they say, you know, once you start on this, you have to take it for the rest of, of your, your life. life. Like just a heroin like addict. Blood pressure medicine, mm -hmm. just like with. Uh, cholesterol medicine and you know they never tell you this is going to fix what ails you they tell you here start taking this you have to take it for the rest of your life that right there should be the little clue to you that they're not in this to fix you they're in this to profit from you yeah 
but it's a hard pill to swallow, so to speak, to believe that the very medical system that you're dependent on is got your the last thing they give a shit is about is you, and <laughs> they lose a lot of people at medical. Uh, they don't call it malpractice, but people die more <laughs> as a result of the hospital doing shit than <laughs> they probably would survive if they didn't have ever, wouldn't have gone to the hospital at all. Yeah. But, oh, and all of this shit about the hospitals being overrun hmm. and so busy and everything because of COVID. Okay, I guess in a backhanded, redheaded stepchild kind of way, it is because of COVID because they did the COVID lockdown. Hmm. Nobody was allowed to get elective surgeries done. Nobody was allowed to have all this other fun shit. Yeah. Done. So yeah. now that the yeah. COVID shit has been lifted, yeah. Everybody's scheduling their elective surgeries. So in a backhanded way, <laughs> they can blame COVID. For <laughs> this is brilliant. I, I've never seen a scam done by the government that was so well executed. They really did a good job this time. But they didn't oh, yeah. convince the Swedes. They, I think Nicaragua, Japan. There were two other countries that held out. Five out yeah. of a, I think there's like, they're down to like 180 countries, something like that. It was over 200 for a period of time, but unless I'm, I'm being told the wrong numbers again. Have it well, and I get to myself. see stuff that Mary B. posts every once in a while. And yeah. from what I understand, down in Australia, hmm. you, they can throw your ass in jail if you're not wearing a mask in public. See? It's all the law. Whatever your system wants you to do is what you're going to do. See, and I, I thought laws were supposed to be beneficial, you know. <laughs> this, this is a line you do not cross. This applies equally to everyone. This actually makes for consent, and this is actually for the benefit mm -hmm. of all. And yet, most of the laws you see on the books right now mm. are such total piles of crap that only, well, if you do this at this time in this place, at in a certain way, mm -hmm. you'll go to jail. Mm -hmm. But if that person yeah. over there yeah. does it yeah. when they're with this group of other people yeah, who look that, a lot like oh, them, yeah. it's okay if they do it. Yeah, I was. But kinda, you can't. I was kind of curious about. I mean, are are these rioters? Are are they always going to be protected? Or are they going to ever have to face what they did? People that actually were physically filmed doing things. What what's becoming of all that? And it's coast to coast, so. Well, I think people are no longer waiting for the cops to do anything, which is why I think it's Gavin Newsom again, hmm. San Fran Nan's nephew, by hmm. the way, <laughs> um, is has now passed down some edict. I don't know if it's law or not, or if it's just something that he's considering. But if you go out and you paint over the Black Lives Matters murals. You can go to jail and a $500 fine. And it's like, really? So they did graffiti first. Yeah. Now, if you go as a city worker and go and paint over the graffiti because you deem it unsightly, that's okay. But if a random citizen just goes out there and just paints over it, mm. that's not okay. Well, uh, we are wherever we are in this game, I guess, but... It's hard to believe what I'm reading. Some of what I'm reading it seems uh, like Nazi Germany. Yeah. And I just read yeah. yesterday or earlier today that finally somebody in the Germany thing, the their groups have have exposed the truth enough to get taken seriously, so some of this crap can at least slow down, if not be stopped. You know, because well. when little places like Sweden and Denmark survive, <coughs> like nothing ever happened any yeah, differently than any really other fucking time through the yeah. most deadly crisis in history, nah, somebody's lying about a crisis. Yeah, I think. Oh, I'm guaranteed. And then, of course, I live here. So, you know, I recognize a lot of people I've seen because I've lived here for six years. And a lot of them are old people. So, hmm. No, there's still tons and tons of old people here. We have not had sirens, you know, in and out, hour after hour, taking away the dead bodies or none of that shit. So, 
Hmm. I don't know. But if you look on the Internet webs, you'll see links that tell you hospitals were flooded and you couldn't get in, and then you go take a look at the place and it was empty. Yeah. Wow, this goes back four or five months to the beginning of it all when it first was happening. <coughs> and yet, wow. and yet, where, where are the people that saw this as a hoax? Where are they? How could you not see from the very start how this whole thing was that there's no truth to it? I think it has a lot know. to do with seeing a lot of these damn uh, TV shows and movies that indoctrinate you into believing that, oh, there's going to be this virus and it kills humankind and all this crap. When you think about it, right? Or when I think about it, I always say you. When I think about it, how much time of my life have I spent ill? Compare that to the time I've spent healthy. The amount I've spent ill is very minimal. So, I think that if health is your intention and you pay attention to a few details, then you wouldn't be ill and fall victim of this mental fuck telling you to, hey, isolate from other people and be afraid of everything. That's going to keep you alive. That's how you yeah. survive the future is by don't look at anybody and only talk to people that have badges. Well, see, and I've been saying for quite some time that this whole social distancing thing oh, wow. is freaking mess. insane. And it's basically because they know that humans survive on human touch. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah. And so... Because I was talking with my youngest yesterday and telling her, you know, some of the shit that mother is having a tough time with in the assisted living center because, you know, there's there's no human touch going on. And when she does get to have a porch visit, which is a screened in porch, and she can't go out there with her walker because she gets too close to the screen. So now she has to ride in a wheelchair and she's not supposed to get out of the wheelchair. <clears throat> And then, you know, anybody that's visiting her has to stay so far back away from the screen so you can keep that six feet distance going on. It's like, oh, dear God. And then, you know, they say, well, you should be wearing a mask. Really, if I wear a mask, Mom can't hear me. Okay? Talk Three about more breathe. days and it's over, dear. Breathe. Yes, breathe. She does, get out. she does get out Tuesday morning, and my siblings have been sending videos of how progress they're making on getting Mom's house Walker ready. Okay, and, so and I'm trying to couple weeks. And I'm trying to make a point of is that there are people that are so lame in the brain, so out of touch with human reality, that they think these measures the state is taking are helping you because the report comes back. See how many people didn't die because you're staying locked down and masking and all this? They just bullshit you with what you want to hear. You know how many people didn't die? The uh, sudden infant death syndrome numbers dropped drastically. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. No vaccines, yeah. no dead yeah. babies. Go figure. Yeah, because they weren't doing the well baby checks. Yep. Um, the, the rates of children coming into the hospital with breathing conditions or with seizures dropped drastically. And yet so, the yeah. public still doesn't fucking get it's the system that's doing this to them. You're a victim of this system. It's not there to help you. <laughs> it's yeah. it's COVID time, baby. Roll up your sleeve. We're going to shoot some duck cum and a little yogurt in your vein, and you'll feel good for a couple of weeks. Uh. So you get sick from the COVID we gave you. See. And the whole point of an inoculation is it gives you the disease so your body will build an immunity to it. And there's no yeah. fucking cure for the common cold. So let's shoot the common cold into you that you can't fight already. See? <laughs> yeah. Well, actually you can, but, but there are supposedly so many different variations of the cold virus mm -hmm. that <coughs> mm -hmm. every time you get a cold, yeah. there's going to be another one that you're not just because. So it's like, I, okay, I, fine, whatever. I just figure, oh, eh, I'm, I'm going to catch a cold. I'm I usually so do, Unless I do my vitamin C and my vitamin D and <laughs> yeah, my zinc. Yeah. And, 
I call them additives. We we all know what they are if we use them. And people that oh, don't yeah. use them don't need to use them in the first place. They don't believe they work, so they will probably that mentality would stop any progress from taking place. You mind? Oh, you know what the wow. you know what the the response I've gotten lately from a few sadists has been regarding how do you know the how do you know those things aren't a panacea? How do you know that hydroxychloroquine isn't just a panacea? Uh. And so I've looked at them and said, how do you know that needle isn't just a panacea? How do you know the other shit they're pushing <laughs> on you? By the way, are you taking high blood pressure pills? Has your blood pressure gone down? Is it a pla- is it because it's a panacea or is it because it's actually doing something to lower your blood pressure? Is that lowered blood pressure actually good for you? See, you don't know. I don't know. That's why I went with Mother Nature, and I'm still alive, so maybe I'm the rarity. Who knows? I just do what uh, I want. <laughs> I exercise yeah. my freedom as a living being and with, and try my best to keep my freaking hands off other people that don't want me to put my hands on them. And that, I think that in itself is the key to my uh, success that I feel I have, you know. Because other people would look at my life and not consider that successful. Oh, you're not a because I'm not a greedy. I need a Rolls Royce kind of guy. You know, things like that don't matter. And the things that do matter, you can't buy them in the first place. <laughs> so uh, life's life's just interesting to me. Yes, it is. Well, I see a lot of anger and tension in the uh, the writings. Not only in chat room, I mean, and all the stuff that I see on the internet webs lately. And oh, and we're missing Solvin here. Haven't seen um, Wally and Walter. Yeah, in yeah. a couple of weeks. So hmm, just sent out my brainwaves to old Solvin or get back in touch with us. He must not been feeling well, or maybe I don't know. He maybe got a job or something because he disappears. But hmm. yeah, he does. Just hit me like a, I don't know, I had a solvener moment. I wonder what that was. Because he used to do radio. You're, you're, jonesing, you're jonesing for Walter. He used to, I enjoyed listening to his readings. And he would just be himself and get up in the middle of his book, go make a cup of tea. <laughs> if you weren't paying attention, you were listening to nothing. So you'd have to know, hey, yeah, I'm going to go get my tea. And it was just yep. funny as fuck, and the oh, yeah. uh, and the, the accent on the English, because mm-hmm. Holland is way different than uh, Denmark. So I hear a real distinct difference in the sli- in the English. And it, I enjoyed it. But, eh. Oh dear God! I clicked what? on trust link. I should not have done that. Uh-oh. Oh dear God! Yeah, I try to avoid certain stuff. Yeah, they tell people at Walmart, you can't shop here unless you wear a mask. Tell them to wear a frickin' pants and pull them up. Jeez. Well, they want to see that plumber's crack. In the end, Stick a pencil in, it. in the end, you're, you're not going to have any choice but to go to Walmart because they'll shut every fucking thing else down with the excuse of this corona shit when that's not it. It's a financial collapse. <clears throat> and the only people that are going to be in it at the end are the ones that we support are today. The- yeah, the large corporations. They'll so, yeah. Well, yeah. you you are the one that always says, you know, vote with your dollars, you know. Mm-hmm. So if you're anti whatever uh, Walmart like I am, well, I'm lucky there isn't one here. So there's nothing <clears throat> nothing for me to not go to. But if there was one here, I wouldn't go to it. I can prove that by the McDonald's up the hill that I never go to. Oh, McDeath. I had my last... I wasn't too concerned about fast food. That that didn't concern me until I got to Scotland. Then I started to notice, and I went, holy shit. Anyway, so I had my last hamburger, whatever it was, cheeseburger or something, at McDonald's in uh, 2014 in Copenhagen. And I swore it off after that. I said, this is the last one. I'm going to go do this on purpose to make it official. In my mind, I have finished. I'm done with this company. And there's one up the hill I can walk to anytime I want to. But I never go there. I just, I don't, I don't, 
I used to, mm. you know, way back in the day, I would get French fries there because yeah. their French fries were good. Exactly. But I don't Something. Even right. do that anymore. Right. Their coffee. Some, they're, they're, but the thing about McDonald's, I researched this back on the Internet when I first got on the Internet, found out that McDonald's wasn't really a food scheme. It was a real estate scheme. And the hamburger thing just went off. That worked. Could have been anything. But the real trap is in when the franchises, you're bound to the land, not to the McDonald's. Yeah. You know, and, of course, you're bound to the McDonald's because that's what they're doing. But if they shut it down and just demanded you to change it, you own the property. And a part of the deal was to go along with any business that was going to be done on that property by certain people. It was brilliantly written out. These guys were great. The brothers that did the McDonald's scheme. Hmm. Well, I just, I, yeah, I, I can't go to the Golden Arches. I just plain can't. Well, I could. And I've actually, but I'm not you know, gonna. we've, uh, Wayne and I have, you know, in going down to visit Mom with the screened-in porch thing or whatever, we don't travel a whole hell of a lot, but. You know, when we're on the road, we'll stop somewhere and get something to eat. And I tell you what, there's there is so much stuff that I don't know what the hell they're doing to that food. But every damn fast food restaurant I've been to lately, things don't taste the way they used to. Your food supply lines were cut eight months ago, dear. Were were you not informed? Yeah, I was informed, but it's like didn't you get man, the memo? This is, this is like nastiness i'm mm -hmm. not so now the only places that we go you know we usually just take a little lunch box or something yeah. and take munchy stuff with mm -hmm. us because unless we go to an actual sit down locally owned eatery mm -hmm. we don't eat out well did you see I, any I, of that I, burger king nonsense with the uh, imitation meat or whatnot i might be yeah. I, i'm pretty close because I don't have a link to refer to. I'm going off memory. And I'm higher than a giraffe's nuts right now. So you take what you can get on the reallibertymedia.com because it's fun. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> well, I just, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't even. I used to really enjoy Sonic. I love their onion rings and stuff. But, man, even those, they... Something about them gives me horrible heartburn afterwards, so I can't even do Sonic anymore. It's the chemicals. So, Look, they, well, apparently they, my body is telling me, mm. you know, that shit. Exactly. <laughs> but I used to enjoy it. Right, but you got cleaned up. You're like a heroin addict, and you want to play with the heroin still. No, stop. You can't even. Well, you, you can't even taste the shit. It just makes you ill right right at the the gate. There's no high left to it. You're just killing yourself, so stop it. Yeah, well, you know, I have gradually gotten to the point where it's like, okay, none of those, none of those will I go to. I go okay. to a, a locally owned restaurant, but other than that. I blame the chemicals and all the shit that they put in stuff that we end up with inside of us. And the way we... Uh, express that is ta sense of taste, sense of smell, sense of sight, what you hear, how you hear what you hear, how your brain figures out what you think you heard, <laughs> on and on. The, you know, the change just goes, like being on uh, Grimm's show, it's all connected. <clears throat> but, you know what I wanted mm -hmm. to do? You want to have some fun What's today? That? I want to boycott, I, wa <clears throat> I want to boycott stuff. Okay. I'm, I'm in a boycotting kind of mood. And I think, let's see, what's on my list so far? Israel. Uh, I, should I add America to my list of boycott? I can't because I do radio with you guys. So I have to support the very place that needs to not function. What a predicament. Yeah, I think, you're, okay, I think the, the government that needs to yeah, not function. I, yeah, I think the federal government needs to dissolve and the states just need to be left alone. Left alone, -o, without any intrusion from outside forces of any kind, and the people could be Put left. Them in time alone. out. There you go. Yeah, but if you eliminate the federal government from your life completely, then you would just be relying on your neighbor, and you know, as we all know from actually being 
alive and having neighbors. You don't have to have breakfast with your neighbors and coffee with them every day to uh, recognize when something needs to be done that we all got to do it or it won't work. Like, I, Grim made a comment the other day about his community is armed and they all know what to do if something should go wrong, so to speak. Well, mm-hmm. that that shows you that there's no lack of uh, communication. Everybody's communicating. They just don't have to be all up there, each other's butt about it. <laughs> it's a different, when it's small, it's so different. I learned that from how I live here. You know, I don't know my neighbors, all my neighbors by their name, but I know them by their faces. And we all smile and nod at each other when we pass. So things, you know, that's all you need. You don't need to have their children. (laughs) Anyway, Hmm. you know how, see, you're not a city dweller. Being a city dweller where everybody's got their nose up your ass, you know, where you go places and people have expectations. Okay, in small towns? Yeah. No, yeah. I'm talking about have, in bigger a, bigger places. I know, but I have a Gladys Kravitz that lives down the block from me, so yeah. Yeah, but knows. you guys are small, and you, you all know who she is. In the city, it could be the guy sitting right next to you. You don't know okay. who the snitch is in the city. Whoa, what the fuck? Where's the appeal to that anymore? Why, why do people insist on living like that when it's so obviously uncomfortable? You know, some people really don't know any different. It's like, you know, when you, um, and I used to really, I mean, I still don't care for anybody that goes out and just randomly blows people up just because they're trying to make a political point and hurt the government. Yeah, what? You didn't hurt the government No, no, and even a little bit. People with that mindset, you'd be surprised how many of them are basically raised with that mindset, so they really don't know any different. Hmm. They're not allowed to know any different. And when they do finally learn something different, then their name goes to the front of the list of, guess who gets to be the next suicide bomber? (laughs) Wow. You know, it's kind of, it's the Middle Eastern version of Arkansas. Oh, Arkansas. Isn't that sad that these concepts are just common? Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's, you know, just gradually, all my whole life, just declined to this, whatever this is. is uh, ah, wait, no, not ah, yet. Ah. My cat is acting crazy. I got to move him. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Cat. I got plants I don't want him disturbing in a windowsill. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. When I was talking with my youngest last night, she's growing little pricks. As she <laughs> Cacti. She's, yeah, yeah, she's got ten little cactuses, mm. and they all are the you know they're they're supposed to be the taller ones, but they're taller and the and then they are bent. Mm. <laughs> so she calls them her little pricks. Mm. But um, she went upstairs to water them the other day because you only have to water them like once a week or something. Mm. And they were all on the floor mm. and out of their pots. Uh oh. And she looked around, and there were the cats. Yep. One of them was playing with one of the pots. Ow. And she said, she picked up the broom because hmm. she is my daughter. She always takes her broom with her. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when you might need to fly. Yeah. But um, yeah, those yeah. cats skitter scattered down the stairs. She was so pissed. She said, I cussed them little shits all the way down. And when she got downstairs after cleaning up the mess and watering the cactuses and getting them back on the windowsill, what did the cats do? We love you, Mommy. We love you, Mommy. Please let us sit on you. Let me do the figure eight between your feet. (laughs) Yeah, the staircase. Uh, Yeah, I get that on the stairs. But I have grown accustomed, so now I expect him. So... Paranoid or not, at least if he's not there, I, if he was, I'd know it. But by peers, my behavior is recognized as paranoia because I don't want to fall and break my neck because I got a cat that likes to walk around my feet. Mm-hmm. And then again, I've got, I'm... I've got a lot of time invested in these plants where I want them to do a certain thing. 
and don't yeah. want the cat rubbing his freaking hairy shit all over my nice plants. <laughs> so, yep. well, okay. But, hey, Cakes is here. Hey, Cakes. Cakes. But I tell people all the time, if animal, well, I used to when I was younger, animals don't need to recognize the word you say. They just need to know the tone that it's in. Yeah. That's all the animal really, I mean, but you give them credit for knowing things that, no, they're, Larry and Rob got me this week. I got to tell you this, right? I know you don't listen mm-hmm. to the show that, that Larry and Rob do with me, but I'm well, going to. Well, I don't. I don't get to hear it live very often. Okay, but Larry brought up a comment, and he said that you could ID human beings through their frequency. The individual's human frequency is unique as a, like a DNA kind of thing. So there might be ten people on the planet that have your exact frequency. So I thought, wow. And these people that do all this government shit that they do to us, they have science and all this crap at their disposal, so they know all this stuff. Larry's not teaching us anything new. Larry just knows what's really happening. Okay? You know, I'm I'm really starting to really grok that. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That... Nothing is really, you know, like all these inventors, did mm-hmm. they really invent whatever it is no. that they're, you know, doing the patent for? No. Or are they rediscovering? That's a huge because, part of it. Yeah, they're updating things. Because, you know, well, just because you update a program on your computer doesn't mean you're a computer programmer. You know what I mean? Like it, the button yeah. says, uh, push the, push me for an update. Well, you push the button for your update does not make you any different. But we do live amongst people that believe that is so. I can operate this. I'm a genius. Uh, uh, help. Yeah. <laughs> We're drowning in this in this illusion of freaking intelligence when the whole populations are being bullshitted along with a fake story to cover up a financial collapse that they don't even have the understanding to, to know is there. It's frightening. But you know what? <sighs> if they don't understand, if they right. don't realize there is a financial collapse going on, yeah. is it really going on? Oh, yeah. It's going no matter what because it will show itself with the food supplies get cut. Well, and it will also show itself with the increased pricing, which, oh, dear That's God, the I went to the thing, grocery store prices. the other day. And That's the point. Holy That's- it's what it is. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Your dollar has no fucking value. doesn't buy you anything. Whose fault is that? Yours? No. It's the collective sucking up this government crap and using their fiat money. And when you do it for as long as America did at that level, it just collapsed on them. They, they can't hold up the lie anymore. And they're still trying to. They're going to buy people off with a few thousand dollars and print oh, a couple yeah, of more trillion or something. They're milking the system because they know that it's gone. They know that it's done. And so what they're doing right now is they're hedging their bets and they're milking what's left of the system or getting away with as much milking as they can get away with, even though they know the cow ran dry a long time ago. But they're still over there acting like they're milking, you know, so that other people think, oh, they're still rich. They're still rich. Actually, yeah. they're not. Yeah. They're not. No. See, because wealth makes you depend on other people to do your dirty work. You know, it's it's it's, it's about time that average Joe wrapped his head about what wealth really is. You know, it all it is is the ability to have somebody else do the shit you want them to do. When that ends, you got to do it yourself. Wow. How do you boil an egg? <laughs> Um, okay, there's water. people out there that never had to do any of this for their self. Not lazy like me and don't pre- you know, prefer to do other things than that. I'm talking just complete fucking morons. Couldn't change the a- the tire on a car. Dumb. Hey, I you know, and they okay, talk well, that well, when I no, took no, driver's no. ed. I'm talking they about don't people do that it drive anymore, circle. Not that I know of. Okay, but Sir got insulted. I'm talking about people that have a car, driving a fucking car, they get a license, 
They still don't know how to change the damn tire on their own car. So What's worse hmm. is they don't know how to check the oil. Oh, yeah, there's another one. And that, yeah. to me, that's one of those, oh, dear God. If you're going to be driving a vehicle, you should at least know how to check the fucking fluids. Okay, but... In... And air up a tire. At least know how to do that. Uh, that's why I was going off on all that, uh, the assumption that there's a big difference between the genders and all this, pinning us against each other. Oh, they're better at this than me. You know, I'm better than, at that than them. And all. It's just a, another divide and conquer, and it works so good. So fucking good. <laughs> but it's kind of amusing. Oh, do you know what I saw riding down the road today in front of my house? Take What's a, that? Take a guess. I bet you can't guess. Uh, biker. No, actually, it was a car. You were close. And the, oh. the answer was probably too vague anyway. But, yeah, today I saw, I think, a, somewhere between a 1954 and a 1957 convertible Cadillac. And it was Sweet. just, in, and the guy had the top down. It was all hard, just beautiful. Hard waxed and shiny and immaculate. But the thing that kind of when I after he passed by I start I stopped and wondered all that fucking work and that guy's riding around in that beautiful car all by himself and it wasn't like I wanted to be in it because I don't I don't get shit out of cars anymore it was more wow that poor fucker all that work and money and and he's alone I thought Ew. maybe he was going to pick doesn't, somebody up to ride with him doesn't matter that's not the point shouldn't I know start your a, point is you, he was. He you, was driving it alone. You should never start a car like that without a, a woman next to you. That should be like a law. Woo. That was like, to me. It might, you have spoken. No, I've got judgments. I have a code. I have a uh, code that other people don't know exists, so they don't know they don't live up to it. But <laughs> but when I when I recognize them doing something that goes against my code, I rec, you know, then it's memorable. Because they've done something that, in a sense, is kind of insulting. And I can't really define why I think of it that way. But, yeah, I just thought, yeah, you know, all that beautiful car and all that, and you're just alone in it. Whoa. How? Yeah. Didn't appeal to me. Hmm. What? Go I'm figure, huh? Well, see, it's all a matter of how I judge what I see in it. I, whatever those values are based on, they fluctuate by the car, the per person driving the car, the time of day, <laughs> whether the moon's in you know up Uranus or not. <laughs> ah. Shit like that makes a big difference. All those details. Yeah. How how do you get a moon up Uranus? I don't know. Get Hans to ask. Hans will know. No, no, I don't want to know that bad. And, and Rums will probably <laughs> sh demonstrate for you if you ask him nice. That's okay. Hey, you got some helpful people on the RealLibertyMedia.com. They're there for you. They got your back. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Hey, you know, I got a real boner with these people that have the nerve to tell me I need to do something. I don't give a fuck what you do. You want to wear a mask on your ass and your, and your face, uh, you know, wearing a plastic bag, go for it. I, I just don't want you telling me I got to do that stupid shit. You, you know, know, and speaking of that, I tell you mm. what, the universe is really being synchronistic right now. Mm. Gary L., mm. I just saw this on Twitter. Yeah. So there you go. We posted mm. this in the notes. Yes. Well, okay. I posted it if in, it's the, a picture, in the kitty chat. Uh, oh, it's a Twitter. It might work. If it doesn't, Grim yeah. will just delete it. He's got our back on the notes. You know that? I know. That's because Grimmy is just awesome. Makes this whole thing a lot easier. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen this before. Yeah, it makes it a whole <laughs> lot easier on the rest of us. But, yeah, Mary's got a comment about the uh, masks to make to the world, and we posted a copy of that in the old uh, notes. For everybody's uh, pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I, You're I, rude. You know that could be taken rude as rude, right? Hey, I'm not rude. Gary L is rude. I'm oh, 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 good point. <laughs> Never mind. Saved by the because you got a reputation of being a 
you know, Graham Z, you can't be rude. It's my job. Ah. If there's okay. any rooting to do around here, I'll be doing it. Thank you. <laughs> you get the good job. You get the white hat. I wear the black hat. Ah. Well, when you're not wrestling freaking cars, <laughs> you spend your time, your leisure time, on the radio arguing with me about who owns the color orange. So. Yes. Hmm. I own the color purple. Do you? Why? Because I said so. Wow. So you really think that there's going to be a an election in November? <laughs> huh? Do uh, you? You know, I, uh, I'm really trying not to think that far down the road. I, I try to... So amazing. I'm really getting to the point where it's like yeah. it just it adds <laughs> to the level of frustration so I deal with what I got going today. <laughs> oh, oh, you weakling. Oh, pull up your big girl panties there and be a man about this, Miss Mary. Don't pussy out on us now. Come on. Oh, no. You can do it. I, I can pussy out on you all I want because I got one. So, I don't, is that really. What? I am sleeping with today because yeah. that's all I've got to deal with right now. Could, could, that, today. could that have something to do with both your choices are both the same? So it doesn't matter anyway? Yeah. Okay, Pretty just much. thought I'd ask. Okay. I felt I like am. having a dork giggle on a Saturday. We're better to have a dork giggle giggle than on the dork table bubble. <laughs> oh, oh, help oh, me. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, win a few, lose a few. But, so, Larry says that they can ID us through frequency because we all have our own individual unique frequency. Wow. See, to me, that's like big news because I didn't know all this stuff. And then there's also, there's people out there in the world that go, so? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, dork? <laughs> yeah. And I'd have to tell them, you'd have to listen to the Dropping a Coil. Thank you, sweetheart. Dropping a Coil podcast with Larry Woods and Rob Works to get a better idea of the, some of the stuff I reference is based on what these two guys taught me. You know, what I've, they're sharp uh, yeah, guys. Well, yeah, but I absorb a lot. Man, they're always... in Every episode has some link or some reference to something that I never thought of before. Now they're into uh, these machines that have been built for years. I didn't even know they were using them. So out of the trades I've been, as I'm away from it, out of sight, out of mind, right? Mm -hmm. 20 years go by, and I find out there's these companies that are making uh, similar forms of energy, you know, machines to perform, uh, I guess, making energy. And I didn't even know they were out there doing it. So it's all, wow, it's amazing to me. I can't even explain it in words. It's just rattling around up there right now. You know, it's new, brand new idea to me but not to the rest of the world. Now, maybe there's people like, like me that never heard of it before. And that's why I'm always complaining about the system. They hold back stuff we should be learning or knowing or talking about. And then they feed us all this COVID, you know, riot nonsense to distract us from what's important. Well, yes, distraction is probably the biggest weapon they have in their arsenal. Well, yeah, Take but... Take my unwanted humor elsewhere? No. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Who said that to you? Oh, it's Mike. Hey, Mike, Mikey! He's being a... I he know. He's being a smart ass. See, that's... It's, all, it's like Rob Works. That's all I had to know about Rob Works when I first met Rob Works, is Rob was sarcastic. So, no matter if he's being sarcastic or if he's not, I just assume, well, that's just Rob being sarcastic. Now, Mike... The snark, yeah, the snark is strong with him. And Mike yeah. has explained himself so many times, if you pay attention. He's only playing around. It's just a oh, chat. I know. So, yeah, but he's still having to explain. And it's like, pay attention, guys. Mikey's just writing a joke. It's not Mikey's easy, oh, but it's not easy to be funny. Hey, I know. Sometimes my shit flops. <laughs> But I give it a world to see where it'll go. You know, you experiment with words and see what'll happen. 
writing and oh i know there's there's lots of times when you know i say something on the radio mm. and then as soon as it falls out of my mouth i'm going you know that sounded a whole hell of a lot better in my head but when you when you <laughs> Maybe write I it have left it there when you write it it's taken differently though yes when you speak it wow that's a whole other universe well, because there's intonation and all that other yeah, fun stuff. Yeah, right. but the right? writing one yeah. carries on. You can say things and be forgiven for what you verbally say, but what you write, that sticks with people. Yeah. I know it for myself. Maybe I'm just assuming that uh, there's, well, you agree with it, that's two of us. But, you know, maybe there's other people that think it's the, the exact opposite, where they're in tune with the frequency of they hear it and they never forget that. But if they read it, they forget it in 10 minutes. It's over, gone. And I'm the other way. I came from the written word on paper to the verbal word on headphones. My indoctrination is different to the you know person that listens. I see. Ha, ha, ha. And that's strange. You ever think uh-huh. about it? That we use the same senses, hearing, touch, taste, smell, blah, blah, blah. But we use them differently, different levels of different. <laughs> but we're all the same. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure, we are. Well, okay. Well, actually, Can, we're all made of the same stuff. It's just you know each make one a, of us. Make a simpler comparison would be like to use the car as an example, right? There might be a hundred different uh, variations to the car design and model and manufacturer, this, that, and the other, but they're all cars. See? Yes, they're all cars. That's, and yeah, that's what's the even worse yeah. is they can't put the freaking door handle in the same place in all the cars. Every <laughs> car's got the door handle somewhere else. <laughs> oh, no kidding. And the oh shit uh, handle. Yeah. The oh shit handle mm. in the car is different in every freaking car, and it's like, come on. You guys agree on something. Of course, you know, it's it's like with um, cell phones or any of that other fun stuff. They can't all use the same charging port. No. Everybody's got to have a little bit different little USB plug-in thingy. So you have to, every time, Hmm. even if you just get a newer version of the phone that you had, you got to get a new plug-in. Oh, yeah. See, absolutely. They, They do this on purpose, dear. Profit, profit, yeah, it's profit. planned obsolescence. Well, they've got the consumers convinced that that's the best way to do it. And I think that my buddy Larry and uh, my other buddy Rob, I think they, they've found another way. And proving it to yourself is one thing. Proving it to other people. Wow, that we're living in a world that's based on the success of failure in a sense, because they know they're they're delivering the electricity on a cycle that's negative to our uh, being, what, healthy, let's say. Use that word. Well, yeah, because that's the way they can generate income. There's books and information and geniuses and all your back, you know, your backup necessary to really understand that this electricity is harming us more than it helps us, and they can fix that with it thing called calibration that it's it sounds real technical and it's complicated but it, if you're if you're familiar with all of these things they're not so they make them they keep them away from average joe he's got enough trouble trying to figure out what bus to get on you know to go score from jose down by the 7-eleven so yeah they got people distracted enough to where they don't ne- ever hear any of this stuff it's terrible. And they don't teach any of it in education. If they do, it's because you paid $100,000 to go to a university. And that's what the... I'm so against this public information crap, education. Why does it have a value to it? Why do you have to pay $100,000 to find out that you're being lied to about every fucking thing in your day? <laughs> it's not fair. Actually, you're being paid $100,000 so you can be convinced that you're better it's a sneeches on the beaches thing it all goes back to that Hmm. by golly i got a star on my belly i was born with a star on my belly i'm better than you people that went to sam mcmurdy which whatever the hell his name was wow but 
See, when Larry is so willing to freely give away the answer and not take credit for having it, he's very open. He, this is old technology. We updated it with modern gizmos. They're just doing it with a better uh, technology at the moment than they did when they figured it out, however long ago they figured it out. It's been a while. And it seems mm -hmm. like every civilization gets destroyed so that the, they can pretend to start all over. Like we are yeah. now. We're at the end of oil. So what's going to replace oil? Well, they already knew what the answer to this. They already knew the answer before they ever started to use oil. This is the result of using oil that they wanted. Yeah. Well, it's it's being able to control yeah. the flow da -da. of energy and profit off of it Ooh, all at the same time. You're so smart. Yeah. I, I like it when you read my mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, we, we disagree about a lot of stuff on the surface. So to agree about something like that, that's pretty big stuff. Because most folks don't. That's why we're in this pickle that we're in, that we're not in. We're watching a pickle problem thing. It's, happened to, it's happening to people over there. And as long as it's happening to people over there, it doesn't involve me. Yeah, yeah, if it's, yeah. yeah. They trained us, you know, so, but yet yeah, they can pay people to get on a bus and go to another place and do terrible things to their, to their society, their system, and that's okay. During a coronavirus lockdown, <laughs> let's go burn up some buildings and beat people up. Have and fun. blame it on those people over there that won't wear their mask. Because, it, it, hey, yeah, yeah. we're wearing a mask while we're burning that building down. We are being socially responsible. Mm. All righty then. Well, you're, yeah. you're, okay, your uh, son-in-law doesn't think you're being responsible. Okay. So yeah. that's his opinion of, um, in my opinion, of the product of somebody who doesn't know how to read and understand what they're reading because he's only listening to the narrative. Because there's nothing physical in writing to back this um, virus up. It's all bullshit. Once you start looking, you find out every step of the damn way. There's always somebody going, well, yeah, but... Uh, changing their mind. Oh, don't do this. Do that. This state, it's okay to do it. But, oh, three feet here, six feet there. What the fuck kind of nonsense are these idiots thinking? That if it's so, you know, if it was real in the first place, Cirque just coughed, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever she just coughed out is in my atmosphere. Now, they want me to be physically and mentally afraid of my partner because she coughed. And that's the whole goal right there. And if you can be convinced that her cough could kill you, well, then there you go. That's all they need. They got control of your mind. You are now mm -hmm. a functioning member of society. Please leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> I don't have time for that shit. And that's yeah. the stand I took, and that luckily... For me, I live in an area that's the stand that other people took. Hmm? I yeah. see couples, old couples, my age and older, walking arm in arm, hand in hand, in the down the main street of town. Because if they're, you know, if you're going to frown on that, you're there's something wrong with you. <laughs> and then, no, those old people ain't hurting anyone. So hmm, I think I'm living in the right place at the right time. There you go. Mm. There you go. Things I'm reading about politics and in my, you know, ex home where I came from, where I started, it's terrible. It it is quite interesting. Ooh. It is quite interesting. Yeah. And there's yeah. there's lots of times when I have a really, 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 really hard time digging a positive out of that. Ah, shit. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's it's like that one kernel of corn that didn't <laughs> <laughs> didn't quite make it, <laughs> or yeah. it did make yeah. it. Wait a minute. Yeah. No, that's too much. Stop, weirdo. Okay. 
Proceed. Uh, Potty mouth. Yeah, yeah. I um, yeah, <clears throat> I don't think so. I just I. Mm. Well, that's am, a good time to do it. I am weary with the world. I am weary with the nonsense. So a lot of times oh. I get logged onto the computer and I and I say greetings and good morning and salutations and all that other. Well, I don't say good morning anymore, but greetings and happy new day and salutations mm. to everyone. Mm. And then I go and play out in the yard till it gets too hot to play out in the yard. And then I come in and usually it's about nap time by the time. <laughs> mm. I really am blessed. And then, you know, I start on like supper or whatever, but yeah, I, I try to avoid the external world as much as possible anymore. Wow. It, it, you it's sound like great. Grim. Yeah. You sound like grim. Cause I, you know, I never really thought that I would become antisocial. Yeah. And it's kind of like the t-shirt that I need to steal from my little brother that mm. says I used to be a people person, but people ruined it. Wow. That's not very good to hear. Hey, we're at the dork table. That's a terrible thing to hear from you. Well, I do like, you know, and that's that's where Hmm. sometimes absence makes the heart grow fonder. So when (laughs) I say absent from people, I think of them much more fondly. (laughs) Oh, yeah. It's like, I love you from a distance, and I'm good with that. Yeah, well, yeah, you can't spend the rest of your, what time we got left in the end, can't spend all that time chasing yesterdays. That's nuts. But if you watch enough movies, you'll see that, you know, if you do these stupid things, that you'll succeed. No, you won't. Don't do anything you saw some fucking moron do in a movie. (laughs) It won't work. You know, it's kind of like I, someone had had posted on Twitter the other day, which is the most activity I have ever gotten off of anything I've posted on Twitter, ever. Ooh. They they had posted, so do you follow the arrows in the grocery store aisles? <laughs> and wow. I responded, no. Wow. I also do not stand in the circles or on the X, because... I grew up watching Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner. I know what happens when you stand there. So, you know, and I got like 50-some likes on that. And it's Mm. like, booyah, holy shit, I have hit the Twitter zone. Like Mm. 50 people actually liked a smart-ass remark I've made. I've made multiple (laughs) smart-ass remarks, but that one, that one actually got some attention. (laughs) So I was like, yes, I have. I have popped my Twitter cherry and broken the 50 mark. So <laughs> I know that's a weird way of putting it. No, because I will never strive to do that. Well, and, you know, and then I see people over on Twitter. And I enjoy Twitter just because I like to scroll and see what people are posting. And occasionally I'll retweet things, and usually with a snarky remark. But it's amazing how many people post, just follow me and I'll follow you back. Mm-hmm. And it's like, wow, desperate much. Mm-hmm. I need I need followers. Really oh. do something worth being followed for. Hey, you got a lot of rules, little missy. I do. You know, I'm wow. not going to follow anybody unless I think they're somewhat suspicious, or if they're, <laughs> you know, if they're ahead of me to the ice cream truck, then I'm, I'll follow them. I'm staying off Twitter but, just to avoid you. <laughs> Wow, you're a danger to mankind, little missy. <clears throat> and, of course, we're at the end of the show. So, uh, holy smokes, <clears throat> already. Do you, yeah, do you remember? Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Don't you? Do, I, um, do you remember that Grimm's doing a new show? Yes, on Monday. Ah, it's all connected. Yeah. Do you know why he's, it's all connected? Because it is, duh, we're all part of the universe, therefore, duh, it's everything's connected. Yeah, and that's at 7 o'clock on uh, Monday night. and then Eastern time. Yeah, but guess what, on Thursday, guess who's going to come give us a lesson on living? On uh, <laughs> Larry uh, Other Wood. than Larry and Rob are on Thursday, yeah. they're, they're dropping a coil, and it's not a stinky one either. Uh, no, but Larry Larry did like the the 
the sound of that for the show name. And as serious as of a show as it is, we do screw around a little bit. We have other topics besides the electrical stuff, but it's so important. And there, it's like grim. It's connected. It's all connected to everything. So no matter what you talk about, you stray off your point and have to come back and find out where. Whoops! It's like a like a spider web of words. Know what I mean? Ooh. Yeah. Well, Ooh. there's a lot of lessons that I learn just by hanging around and you know looking at the links. But, wow, what's that mean? And I find shit out. And if you speak. Um, Symbols and numbers and, you know, specifics, like, I guess, algebra. Larry has a damn drawing. And if you speak uh, electricity, you look at the drawing and go, wow. <laughs> so, that's kind of interesting to me. And that is the dark table for the week, folks. Yay! Yay! <laughs> May you all have an absolutely splendiferous and dorkular rest of your weekend. Uh, and uh, I'm going to get out of here. See you. Love you. you. Bye. There yeah, I you, am. I don't blame you. I'm, I'm she thinking has to, it's time to kick back. Yeah, well, i got to close down the thingamabobber. Go ahead, Mary. i got this. I can do this bit you, all by myself. You've got this. You can push buttons. Well, well y'all been listening to the dork table. Thank you. Love you. See you in the funny papers. <laughs> or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still running you. <laughs> Bye, Mary. <laughs> Thanks a lot for Dork Table and Women this week. It was fun. It All was right. fun. Thank you. <laughs>